This is Dengan and Kaba reporting live from South Minneapolis. We are here covering the 2023 May Day Parade. It has been some three or four years back in 2019 since we've actually had uh, this parade or festival. But for those of you from the neighborhood, you would know that this parade has been a staple of this community. Uh, actually, since the 1970s, the first parade contraption has arrived, the bow train. A long time staple of the community, I would say. See huge fire coming out of the out of the top. You can see the people here literally pulling the battle train from the front. It is not gas powered. There are no engines in this thing. This is completely 100% people power. There were 45 years of the May Day Parade until it ended in 2019. And then 2020 happened and they basically ran out of money anyway. And the daughter is in the May Day Parade since she was a baby and now she's pulling the battle train and with her friends. See, they have a, a miniature skate park. Now we have a, a Ferris wheel. And some kind of and then you have the Triceratops art contraption we've also got uh, some kind of pirate boat contraption coming up here it's quite impressive Some guy over here with a bunch of ham scans and a lot of propane. <laughs> some roast meat going on. Some barbecue, hopefully, uh, hopefully for later. Quite an impressive setup, quite an impressive setup. celebration of lots of things. It's a workers' holiday for some people. For some people, it's a celebration of Beltane. We pagans are celebrating, particularly Celtic pagans, are celebrating Beltane, which is a religious Celtic holiday from ancient Ireland, and I'm Irish. So I celebrate my ancient Irish holidays. Beltane is a celebration of life and the energy of fertility of spring after a long winter. And nobody knows what a long winter is like but a Minnesotan. And to come back and have the full force of life, we're out, we're free again. Life has returned. But we the people believe we have to be part of that to make life return, to make fertility happen, to make creativity happen. So this is all about bringing us to the table and making fertility happen. And that's not just making new people. Uh, it's making art and beauty and community and making this wondrous celebration of love happen. And I'm about, oh, my bee, my bee. <laughs> I must feed my bee. Look out, look out, look out. <laughs> so yeah, we're just... That's the beauty of things. Awesome. <laughs> As you can see, uh, Got some nice shots of these vehicles here, some amazing artistic designs. <laughs> and again, this is sort of the back block, so they're designed to sort of protect and escort the entirety of the parade. Happy May Day! Quite an impressive uh, artistic creation. Uh, you're all right, man. That's I love right. your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you. Excellent. Enjoy. In incredible, uh, incredible artwork. Happy May Day. Yes, it, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a joy. Yeah. It's a joy working on this because, and that joy comes out every time we do a parade, right? How long have you been coming to May Day? Oh my gosh. Well, I, I came to watch May Day since it started. I think back in the seventies. Uh, and I thought it was the greatest public art event we had here in the city. And it still is a great event, but it's not Heart of the Beast anymore, so it's morphing. And it's morphing because the community's willing it to continue, and their people want to step up with their crazy Southside battle train leading this thing, and others just want to join in, and the rest, as you can see, just want to be entertained for a May Day celebration, and we got a good day for it. to be here. I'm so glad you're here. Happy May Day to everyone. So May much. beauty be ever in your heart. May you be like a flower upon the earth and blossom and grow. May the spirit of May Day always be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley.